What's up YouTube? Just wanted to record a quick video for you guys here. I recently purchased the cold card Mark IV from CoinKite's website using Bitcoin. And you can see that they have received my Bitcoin payment, but they're just waiting for confirmations. And I've now been waiting for confirmations for a couple hours. I sent the Bitcoin using Strike. And so I wanted to show you guys how you can actually determine when your Bitcoin transaction that you send out is going to be confirmed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Strike and I'm going to go to the transaction and I can find that transaction by just clicking on this little clock icon here and then clicking on this payment. So you can see that the payment was to this Bitcoin address. So I'm just going to click on this Bitcoin address to copy it. Then I'm going to come up to my personal Umbral full node that's running on a Raspberry Pi here in my house. This is my personal copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. And so then I'm going to come in here to mempool. And don't worry if you don't have an Umbral full node of your own, you can just create a new tab here and type in mempool.space. And that's going to take you to a hosted version basically of the mempool, the current Bitcoin transactions that are being processed in these new blocks. But just for convenience, I'm going to go to the mempool that's being hosted on my personal full node so that I know that the transaction is actually out there. Because obviously this website mempool.space could be corrupted, but I'm you know 99% sure that the one in my house has not been corrupted, right? So I'm going to come up here to the search. I'm going to paste that address. So when we first get to this address here, we can see that this is about the amount that CoinKite was asking for back here. They were asking for 0.00 3392 and we gave them a little bit more than that 0 0.00348307 but it was the exact USD amount that they were asking for and the difference in the Bitcoin here is just coming from strikes internal exchange rate versus CoinKite's internal exchange rate so I paid the equivalent US dollar amount by pulling US dollars from my bank account into strike and then sending that USD balance over to CoinKite so now if we want to find this transaction and see when is this transaction actually going to settle we can see that the transaction here was made four hours ago. So I have been waiting on this for quite a while. So now let's click on this and we can see all of the transaction details here. We can see that it was first seen four hours ago. We can see that the fee was 145 sats or about six cents to me. We can see that the fee rate here was about a little more than one sat per byte. We can see that we were sending it with SegWit and we can see the ETA here is in several hours or more. And that's because my fee rate was so low. And so really this is what you're looking for here, this ETA. So in several hours or more, and I will come back to this once this has moved from unconfirmed to confirmed to just show you what this looks like. But basically, once it gets confirmed here in mempool, CoinKite is going to say, okay, we've gotten our confirmations and we're going to agree that you have in fact paid us this Bitcoin. All right, guys, I'm back here after this transaction has gotten confirmed and it actually took a super long time, as you can tell by my change of clothes and the fact that it's tomorrow. So you can see here on the same page that's running from my full node, the transaction got confirmed after 20 hours hours. And as of the recording of this video, it has 82 confirmations. And again, this is the payment that I made to CoinKite to secure my cold card version four and all this other stuff that I bought yesterday. And when I go ahead and refresh this page, you can see that they are now processing my order and that I'll receive an email when it's dispatched. And then if I come back to my email, you can see that at 10 a.m. on May 4th, I actually placed the order one day ago. They saw the order and were waiting for network confirmations to occur. And we can see that as of this email at 6.47 a.m. on May 5th, the next day, my Bitcoin was confirmed and CoinKite said, okay, let's go ahead and start preparing his order and ship it to him. So I placed the order at 10.17 a.m. and it was received at 6.47 a.m. and that lines up exactly with this mempool calculation of after 20 hours here. And again, the reason that it took so long was that this fee rate here was very, very low, right? One sat per byte is pretty much the lowest fee rate that I've seen wallets allow you to pay to get your transaction included in the Bitcoin blockchain. I only ended up paying about five cents here, 145 Satoshis to get my Bitcoin transaction processed. And if we go ahead and click on this graphs icon up here, we can see what the mempool has looked like over different periods of time. So we can see that, you know, recently, actually there's been a ton of Bitcoin volume over the last about day or so. And so you needed higher and higher amounts of fees to actually clear through your transactions. But you can see that in the past, you know, a lot of the fees were very, very, very small over this past week, at least. And you can sort of take this out to a month or three months or six months or a year or two years or three years. Let's do three years just to get a better idea. And you can probably see that during bull markets, that fee gets higher and higher and higher because you're bidding against people. You know, everyone in the world wants to get Bitcoin at the same time. And so they're bidding the price of these fees higher and higher and higher. And so you can sort of see here that as price ebbs and flows, transaction volume increases and decreases, and therefore you need a higher fee to get your transaction 
transaction cleared faster because basically this whole thing of when will my Bitcoin transaction be confirmed is determined by who else is bidding against you, right? If there's only one space left for a transaction in the current block that's gonna be mined in the next 10 minutes and I'm willing to pay $5 for it and you're only willing to pay $4 for it, then you have to wait to the next 10 minute period. And if everyone in the next 10 minute period is also willing to pay $5, but you're only willing to pay four, then you're gonna have to wait to the next 10 minute period and it will go on and on and on like that forever. And it seems like with Strike right now, they're setting those fees to be as low as possible so that your transaction hopefully gets confirmed the next day or so. But for me, it did take about 20 hours and it could have taken longer if more people had started to clog up the network. It would be nice if in the future, I know a lot of other apps do this, allow you to set a custom fee for your personal transaction. Like if I wanted to get that cold card right away, I wanted to get it in the next 30 minutes. Maybe I could have paid five bucks and gotten that done immediately rather than waiting 20 hours for my very cheap five cent fee transaction to get confirmed. Hopefully this helped you guys understand the mempool and how sort of these Bitcoin transactions work with a real live use case and maybe gave you an idea of why you might want to run an umbral full node for yourself. You can, if you don't have a full node, obviously just go to mempool.space, but there's no telling if mempool.space has been corrupted by someone that doesn't want to show your transaction for some reason. It seems very unlikely, but if you do want total control, that is something that you can do with a full node. And then finally, I will have a review coming out for this cold card Mark IV, hopefully soon here on this channel. So if you want more content like this, definitely go down below and smash the like button and subscribe for new videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all. Goodbye.